Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're not doing a pick a card. We are going to be doing a story time and I'm basically going to be covering my star seed regression. Um, I'm basically going to be talking you guys through this very, very deep meditation that I went into where I believe I was shown my star seed roots and why my soul chooses to incarnate on earth and why my soul, you know, kind of fell in love with earth and wanted to keep incarnating. So before I begin, I do want to say if you don't believe in star seeds, if you don't believe in this type of ish, there's no point being on this video at all. Uh, if this type of stuff triggers you or you just really don't believe in it, that's completely fine. We all see life through different eyes, but just click off the video. There's no point in being here at all. Um, and second of all, I think that was basically it in regards to um, my little disclaimers. But I do want to say, like I say with these type of videos all the time, um, we're looking at life through different sets of eyes. So if I say something in this video that doesn't quite correlate with what you believe in or what you believe life is, that's completely fine. You can just take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. We're all looking at life through, you know, a different set of eyes. So just a, just a little disclaimer is all done we're gonna get straight into the video i do want to say as well um i haven't filmed picker cards this week because i've wanted to <laughs> but this eclipse is messing with me and yeah i just wanted to film a talking video i felt like that would be less taxing on my body because it's heavy you guys are pro already probably know it's we're in it it's heavy energy right now so um yeah let's just get straight into the video Okay, so let's get into my starseed regression. So I didn't go anywhere for this. I didn't go to like, you know, a psychic or anything for this. A lot of the meditations and things like that that I do, I prefer to go inwardly. I prefer to, you know, go to my spirit guides and ask my spirit, to, spirit guides to guide me. And I just kind of like delve into the Akashic Records or delve, you know, wherever I need to go. And that was, you know, what I wanted to do. Now, usually when I'm doing meditations, I don't really have a specific subject or I'm not like rolling my sleeves up, like, let's do this, let's do that. I just let spirit take me where I need to go. But with this particular um, regression, I really wanted to know why my soul chose to come to earth. And I also wanted to know like what my starseed origins were because because I've always identified as a Lyran starseed, but I said this in my other videos, when you are specifically like a Lyran starseed, they're very old, old souls, and because they've incarnated in many places, um, they tend to have a hard time knowing what starseed they are, what starseed origin they are, because they can connect to so much, and that was always me, like I always really had like a love for the Pleiades, um, there was even a time where I was like, am I Pleiades, am I not, like I don't know, um, so I was, you know, I was really drawn to that, and sometimes when I'd connect to my spirit guide, Arcturian beings would come through and I also had this love for Andromeda so I was like I know I'm lying I can feel it in my bones like I know that I am but also you know why do I have all of these I, I want to know I want to know where my soul's been I want to know where you know my soul's left its footprints I really want to know so I wanted to know that and I wanted to know why I chose to incarnate on Mother Gaia herself and I wanted to know why I chose this mission and why I you know why my soul loves earth because I really love Gaia I love being on earth I love being a human being I love to I love the earth and the planet you know the planet and um animals and I wanted to know why I love it so much so um I went in with a mission with this particular meditation and I really um I asked my spirit guides to guide me and I went into what I like to call like a trance I really did and I allowed spirit to take me where I needed to go and where I was heading to I was kind of um swimming through my Akashic records basically so to my surprise um when I went you know I was tapping into my Akashic Records and going in I wanted to see my higher self I said I want to see my higher self in like you know the oldest form that maybe I could comprehend as a human being because it's hard to with star seeds and energies and things like that it's hard to put things in words as a human being so I said I just want to see as much as a, of a physical form as I can um in regards to my 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 higher self and all of a sudden I'm showing my higher self and I was shocked because I expected my higher self to come through as like a Lyran being or maybe not come through as like a physical body at all. But my higher self came through, you guys, literally like an Arcturian being, um, bluey kind of skin, um, long, long, long jet black hair, bird like features and very tall, tall. Like I remember just the energy was very grand and it was like this deep blue hue around my higher self and I said first thing I said to my spirit guides I said I thought I was Lyran and they were like you are Lyran and I was like that's not a Lyran being and they were like no 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 like your soul you know 
old soul like a lot of people on earth that old soul like you're a lyran being but you're, you're arcturian too like it's meshed here you know what i mean and i was like oh wow okay because i didn't expect my higher self to look like that and i was like wow this is you know this is wild and i was i, I almost like spoke to my higher self and i was like i want to see why i come to earth i want to know where i'm originating from and you know why i have so much love for earth and, and people and things like that i want to know where it's coming from you know show me you know and all of a sudden my higher self like i said she was like bird like blue skin long jet black hair my higher self kind of like shifted energy you know because obviously energy can shift and all of a sudden i was just showing myself as this liar and being right and um i had i'll try and explain what i looked like to you i didn't have fur i didn't have skin i didn't look like like that it was almost silky and shimmery in a way um limbs like uh, it was like humanoid like arms like this um had you know like long nails and it was funny because it was like i knew i was like a mix between like a lyran and an acturian because i had like you know the long um golden kind of like it looked like a lion's mane type thing like long hair but then i also had like bird like features as well like i had the feline eyes and i remember like um where i thought i would have had like the cat like nose i had a very like bird like kind of nose and um like i was more bird like down here but more cat like up here and yeah that's how i kind of like came through but it was also humanoid because obviously i had like the legs and the arms so it was like that's what my soul was showing me then all of a sudden they take me to Lyra and I always used to think like oh Lyra it's like you know Vega like that constellation and there's just like one planet and I was very aware that it was almost like a pod of planets like a cluster of planets or like a cluster of energies in Vega in Lyra and I was kind of like taken there and I at this point everything was just being downloaded so I, I wasn't being told anything I was just aware um going into this kind of like trance that like oh that's home that's you know i was seeing it as home and i was like that's you know lyra that's vega and there was lots of different kind of like clusters of planets and things there and when i was taken to i'm just gonna say lyra for the video i was taken to lyra and um i was very much made aware that in there wasn't like governments or anything like that or like the law enforcement there was nothing like that at all it was kind of primal the planet that we were from we were very connected to the planet you know like humans would be connected to the earth you know we were connect connected to the planet there and there was different you know um there was liquid there but i don't know whether it was water because it, it, it felt a lot lighter than water when i was looking at the liquid there it wasn't like it's funny because when we think of water on earth water feels light but there was almost this sense of like the water on earth being a lot heavier than the wa the water that was in lyra because it was just like a very crystallized almost mist like form in a way um but it was just very healing and very soothing I, I don't know whether we would call that water or not but it looked like that i remember looking at like um because i asked my spirit guides i was asking my spirit guides things consciously and i was like food food because i love food so i was like food like what's the food like you know what's the food like here you know and um i was shown like um it was weird it, w it looked like a pepper but it was a flower but like you would consume it I, I can't even explain it's hard for me to put into words guys what i was being shown but it was like a pe it looked like a you know like a bell pepper but it was red and um but it was a flower but it was like they were almost making me feel like you eat that you'd consume that like that was something you'd consume um i didn't consume it because i wasn't really tasting anything I, w I wasn't there for food i wasn't going there for dinner i was you know going to learn about my soul so i was looking at stuff like that and then you know i was very aware you know being as that live and being i was very aware we were all connected to each other there was just this unison of souls like no one was better than anyone else and like i said there was no government or law enforcement but there was like high councils but there was almost like high councils almost like in tribes there was high councils and there was there wasn't just one high council there was like a hundred different high councils with different families and whatever and i was aware that i was a part of a high council but i was like a baby i i very much i don't know whether there was genders that I, I didn't quite ask but 
it very much came off as a female or in that divine feminine energy and um i was a baby of this like high council this kind of group it was like i, I i'd say family they called it a pod of souls and i was kind of like the young one of um this pod of souls um but we you know there was just so much wisdom within everyone and so much like love and and that we were all very connected to each other like i remember being aware of that another thing i remember being aware of was that there was draconian beings reptilians on lyra but at that point like there wasn't any fear about it it was just like i wouldn't really passing by but they, they were almost like passes by we knew they were here we we knew they were like around us but it was like they weren't living there it was like it, we were just kind of like consciously aware oh they're just passing by they're just passing by like everyone kind of knew that you know what i mean and what's funny was we were all energetically connected which spirit actually told me because i said oh that's different you know we can all feel each other's emotions from miles away like that's crazy and spirit were like yeah you can do that on earth and i was like really and they were like yeah you already do that on earth like when there's an event you all know about it you all feel it you may not be able to tap into it as well because you know you have a lot to distract you but you know if you took away a lot of the interferences you'd all be able to feel each other's emotions like that anyway and i was like it's kind of true like we have premonitions and i feel like you know on earth we do have that kind of like tribe like instinct where we all kind of like follow trends and things so it kind of makes sense um but they were very much, you know, I could, like, for example, I could feel, I'm having trouble putting this into words, I could feel what somebody, let's just say 30 miles was feeling, or like, if a collective of souls were going through something, it was like, the whole, I guess, planet was aware of it, like, you'd feel it, you know, like, when cats know there's a storm coming and they start acting a bit crazy, my cats do that anyway, it's, it's kind of like that, or like, when birds know it's winter, so they all flock to, like, do they flock south or west i don't know but they flock <laughs> somewhere um it, it was kind of like that like you were in tune with the cycles of that planet that it wasn't earth but you know what i mean you were in tune with each other each other's emotions like you were in tune with that and when lyra then began to be invaded because they showed me that very quickly um it like came in very rapidly we didn't see anything we just knew like energetically we knew that there was this group of souls that were in distress and being hurt and it you know there was things happening i'm not going to get into it because it was really not nice like i remember feeling these feelings and you can feel this person's feeling you can feel this group of souls like they're having their like life kind of taken away from them in a way and and in a community where you're all connected to each other and you're all part of each other to see that it's like a part of you and it, it 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 was horrible like i remember my heart feeling like it was breaking if you've ever had your heart broken or someone's like that if someone's ever taken your trust or you know um really broken your heart that's what it felt like and i remember weeping in the meditation because i just felt it so strong and all of a sudden you guys i was shown a draconian being in front of me i don't know where we were like it wasn't like a house or anything like that there was a lot of like it looked like rocks in a way it looked like rocks around us and there was a draconian beard in front of me and i think that was the first time that i guess i energetically been really close to one um and my soul like was really disturbed and i'll tell you why anytime even in like in this life when i've read about draconians or i've tapped into you know spirit and asked about you know draconian beings and stuff they're not all bad by the way i mentioned that in another video though um when you think of someone having their rights taken away from them or you think of like people trying to like control people it's it's evil that's how i like look at it i think that's evil and it when i expected to see a reptilian or feel the energy of a reptilian i expected it to be the sinister devil satan type thing like i really did expect it to be like that but it actually wasn't like that like this draconian being was stood in front of me and i'll tell you what they were like i'll tell you what they look like in a way that i can kind of make it make sense that aura had like a gray tone with bits of red in it right um it was like a it was like a dense kind of like energy you know like when you i don't know if any of you read auras but sometimes when somebody is ill or quite sick or just like in very low vibrations maybe in a bit of a funk like depressed that aura can sometimes have bits of like um 
grey like but it's like a grey energy it's like a smoky energy they had that kind of aura about them which was funny because all the other souls i would see they would have bright yellow or bright purple or bright you know, it was bright colors and this is like a very smoggy kind of like energy around them i could see auras very well but in regards to like a physical trait because i asked my spirit guides to show me things in physical form so i could explain it um I guess you would say they were muscly like in human form they were very bulky very very bulky like this and they had that kind of reptilian face but it was a lot different I almost feel like when I've seen drawings or I've heard people talk about reptilians draconians they like um are kind of slender and they weren't they weren't like that they were quite bulky and um it was like a lizard like skin I'm trying to like remember what it was like it was a it wasn't green though it wasn't like I almost I expected them to be green. It was like a grey colour. And it was kind of like um scaly, almost like a fish. Kind of like a fish in a way. And when it looked at me, I had very big eyes. When it looked at me, sorry, I'm getting comfy. <laughs> when it looked at me and I felt its energy and it was looking at me, what really disturbed my soul, like I remember feeling really disturbed, was it was like I said, it wasn't this devilly dark energy. It, it it really weren't it was like this um power hungry energy it was like kind of like you belong to me you have no right because you belong to me like that's how it was looking at me like there was no sinister like dark like devilish like the worst thing it, it, it was just like void of compassion and love and it was dense like it was void of compassion and love there was no persuading or trying to show vulnerability so they like there was none of that like it was void of it it was like that had been kind of taken out of it it was just there was nothing that like, there was nothing and that disturbed me because especially being very like primal to that planet and, and and that connection that we all had we had that connection through our hearts and we all kind of like lived that way and we had love for each other and love for the planet that we were on and it was like to to feel an energy that was void of 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 this life force that we move through that was really disturbing for my soul i remember getting really really kind of like freaked out and worked up by it i was just like oh oh my god like that was not what i expected but it was it, it just really disturbed my soul anywho this tribe of pod spirit say pod of like souls that you know um i kind of came from it was like the kind of family of souls that i kind of came from i remember being tugged and we fled lyra and i remember breaking my heart as we were fleeing because i knew we were leaving people behind and we could feel that imagine having a lifeline to somebody's emotions and they're going through it and you're being able to be taken away and knowing that you have this because i loved lyra like my soul loved lyra like i was so connected to that planet and it was home and my heart was there and then knowing it was being taken away and destroyed like i remember feeling it and that the collective of souls it was just this despair and i felt it and you know from going from feeling that love and giving and being in that beautiful energy to no longer being in that energy and, and feeling this despair it was like a really big energy shift and it was just like I was crying like I was crying even in the meditation it was just like a, I was weeping um so where we fled to was actually Andromeda and I again it was more so downloaded into me like I was aware that we had connections to Andromeda we'd been there before it was that type of thing um or at least there was beings there that we knew um it was kind of like that like there was a familiar sense in Andromeda and I wasn't shown this at the time like it was just basically like instant we were in Andromeda but later I meditated with my spirit guides and I said how do we get from Lyra to Andromeda like that's a long time away like how does that work and I was expecting spirit to show me like spaceships like Star Wars type thing it wasn't like that it was weird it was almost like there was just a pod of souls like like a bit and when I say pod I mean like 200 and we're all kind of there and it was almost like it looked like a room we were in we may not have been in a room i just i guess my human brain's conceptualizing it like we were in this very low ceilinged room and when spirit showed me it was almost like our energy condensed together into this line like this long line our energy like all kind of like mutated together and condensed together and then we just kind of shot and we were no longer there we were somewhere else i know it sounds crazy this is just what i you know you don't have to take it in but it was just like 
we were somewhere else and when i asked spirit it was like we moved speed of light like we just moved energetically we all consciously manifested somewhere else but it was like at a speed of light um so that was interesting i i know it was probably a lot different to that but that's how my brain has kind of conceptualized it maybe in the future i'll be able to maybe if i go on another ascension i'll be able to explain it higher but um yeah that's what i was kind of shown so um yeah we ended up in andromeda i didn't necessarily see andromeda but the energy of andromeda was really light um very 5d very light and when i think of andromeda and i think of like a color i think of like light lilac like the poster behind me like light lilac and blue um when i think of that um one of my spirit guides is from andromeda as well and she always comes through with that energy it's like a violet it's really um beautiful but um yeah so we end up in andromeda and we're with souls that we've kind of like known before and you know we kind of like there was a lot of us taking like refuge there you know and i guess i'd gotten settled in i i, I don't know what happened then because then i leaped to spirit were kind of like showing me i was incarnating in the pleiades which made a lot of sense because i always felt drawn to the pleiades and when i do channeled um you know readings when i do my pick of cards pretty much 90 percent of the souls that i tap into um have been incarnating in the pleiades and feel strong strongly you know called to the pleiades and feel connected there because i think that was kind of where a lot of us probably you watching um that was kind of like our playground and where we were kind of incarnating before earth because literally every time that i like read even like for friends and stuff like that there's a resonance with pleiades and um yeah my sh my soul was incarnate in pleiades and i was incarnate in mentaka as well um just because they felt more so like home so that's why i chose to go there and they had parts of those kind of like um origins i guess that was still in low realms like 3d and they were ascending so it was kind of like you know taking part in that and what i was doing when i asked spirit well, what was my mission what was my point and spirit said to like i was just kind of like spreading love and helping ascend basically you know sharing knowledge from the divine and helping ascend um and that's basically what i was doing so i was doing that in pleiades and um um in Taka. funnily enough pleiades almost felt like a parallel world to earth like there was there was noticeable differences i didn't see a lot of pleiades but it was almost like a parallel um like a like a parallel earth it felt we looked humanoid we looked like human beings and a lot of the trials and tribulations we go through in on earth that we were doing in pleiades and we we really did we looked like we looked like human beings except the eyes looked a lot brighter um which i find like a lot of the times when i see souls and they've gone through a lot of like um awakenings in this lifetime especially when they're a lot older and they've been through a lot of it kind of like that eyes usually shine that out and and um it was kind of like that in the pleiades um but there was like no pets or anything in the pleiades like we have pets in, on earth we didn't have pets in the pleiades like we were all kind of like one if that makes sense um so yeah, I was incarnating on both, um, and then there was like a like I said, there was high councils. La, 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 la. There was high councils in Lyra. There was high councils in the Pleiades, Andromeda, Sirius B, Sirius A, like everywhere. And this, I guess, high council had kind of called out to our energies, and basically had said that um, it kind of referenced Earth being a thing, and had kind of explained Earth, or at least again it was like downloading they were kind of it, it was just put in our heads like this is earth <laughs> you know what i mean this is what's going on and we were aware that there were other beings on earth at the time um most strongest what i remember tapping into was there were syrian beings on earth um i know there was more but um i think draconians instead of going to earth i think but i know syrians were there because i felt really strong that there were syrians there at least draconians were aware of earth at the time but i know that syrians were there because i felt it i know syrian energy and i felt that they were there and um yeah this group of souls were like you know do you want to like incarnate there and when i say like my high council there was like 200 of us there was a lot of us um and there was a whole bunch of us like in the hundreds that decided to incarnate on earth um but the energy on earth at the time was very 5d like very very 5d so physical bodies weren't necessarily needed in the way that they are now and we decided to go to earth and that's when we went to lemuria and i've always felt drawn to lemuria i've always had a love for Lemuria so when I saw my soul 
being like one of the first couple hundreds to like you know go to Limeria I was like and I've always wanted to see it because I've always had a thought of it in my brain and me and my pot of souls which was about 200 of us 300 of us and then other souls like Pleiadians and whatever we all kind of came there was a bunch of us and there was more even coming after that we ended up on Lemuria and I just like when I was being shown my soul which I guess was my soul's first time on earth um it felt like, I guess, home. Like, it felt like, like, a lyra had felt to me, this connection to the earth. And it was so crisp. Like, the like the way the earth is now, it looked a little bit different in the sense that, well, I remember looking at the plants and things. Like, they would, it, it, the plants that we see here, they were almost, like, a little bit different. But there was auras coming off the plants and colours coming off the plants. And I could see them because, like I said, we were more in, like, 5D energy when we were incarnating. And, like, the plants were just giving off these colours. And, like, stones and things like that were giving off these colours. And I always loved shells. And there was shells. There was literal shells. But the ocean was, like, a lot more, like, again, crystallised and lighter. It was a lot different, like, the water was just like a little bit different and it was more everything just felt more vibrant but i guess it's because it was more 5d at the time like the earth was very 5d at the time and um we just loved it i remember us like collectively loving the sun looking at the sun and almost like worshiping the sun in the sense of like it was a life force like we really loved the sun and i remember our souls being aware that like in regards to being in a, in any sense of like physicality on earth we needed the sun and like our bodies needed it and and just really i remember like we all stood in like a line and we had our palms up to the sun and we were soaking in the energy through our palms and then we'd like go in the water but obviously again 5d like the same way you can manifest your body to look a certain way in this lifetime we were doing that kind of like very rapidly it was a lot faster 5d energy is a lot faster than 3d energy 3d was slower you know it's slower to manifest things in 5d it kind of happens quickly and we were kind of almost like i guess you would call it shape shifting when we were going in the water and things like that and we could very much do that and i remember i didn't i don't remember seeing dolphins but i remember hearing you like you know dolphin noises um kind of like that in a way and i there was crystals i remember there being crystals and i'm trying to think of what else we were doing i remember eating the foods i remember getting like the earth because a lot of us would like bury ourselves in the earth or we'd get like bits of like the earth and we'd kind of rub it over our bodies and i remember like paint like body paint being a thing obviously not body paint because it was mud we were putting mud over our bodies and putting it over each other and making patterns with it which i guess was like a form of language like that's how it kind of came across and yeah that's what we were doing on lemuria i i don't know how long we were there spirit you know time isn't real whenever i ask spirit anything to do with time they're like time isn't real <laughs> so i'm like okay <laughs> so um i don't know how long we were there for um but the same way that i guess on lyra we knew when something was happening something was um a foot there was like an energy change you could feel it and um a lot of us souls like it was a, it was a feeling i guess at that point i knew very well and there was this dreaded feeling and i didn't see anything but i just remember like souls almost like being in a state of fear or being in a state of panic and there was like i remember watching like a it looked like a female fish like qualities in a way and she was she had like I would say tools I don't know what they were they were crystal like and she was like frantic like making a hole in the ground and then putting them in burying them um because it, it, we could kind of move the earth in little ways and we were kind of like there was like big holes and there was lots of things going into these holes even people kind of going into them in a way and like almost burying themselves I was like uh, you know my soul kind of was like knew what was going on but i guess from my human lens where i was watching it, i was like what is going on why are they like going in the earth or why are they burying things and you know what i mean and everyone was kind of frantic and all of a sudden i remember just like my part of my group of souls that i'd come to lemuria with like fleeing before like i saw any sort of destruction we kind of fleed and we came home and i just remember having that same familiar feeling of like destruction and hurt and we were very much made aware that lemuria had gone um gone underground it felt and the energy had kind of gone back down to 3d like we were very much aware of that and there was just this kind of 
you know, it was kind of like a paradise and then it's gone again. This feeling of home is there and now it's gone again. And it was just like, my heart really, really was just broke at that point. And I remember consciously feeling like I'm never going to Earth again. Like I'm never incarnating there. I knew that Earth wasn't completely ruined, but I was like, I'm not going there again. I don't want to go and fall in love or feel this deep connection to a place and then have it taken away from me again. I don't want to do that. So I remember souls at that time um incarnating in at like atlantis like around that time remember time isn't real so i don't know if there was like you know this isn't linear i just remember then being approached to ascend and, and be a part of like atlantis and i remember like refusing it and being like no because i didn't want to have like my heart broke and there was something about like i knew how it was going to end or i knew that like atlantis was going to be destroyed at one point or something like, like i kind of knew and i was like i'm not going there I'm not, I'm not incarnated in there. So I kind of refused. I remember being told, I didn't see this part, but I remember being told that I worked as a guide to people that were incarnated in Atlantis, but I wouldn't incarnate myself because there's just this thing in my soul, like I knew it was there was going to be a destruction of Atlantis, like I was aware. So um, I guess maybe Akashic record wise, like, like I said, time doesn't exist. I guess Akashic record, record wise, I'd seen it, um, I guess. So I was refusing to to go and I was just being a spirit guide to the people that were incarnating in Atlantis and yeah that's what I was kind of doing and then obviously Atlantis got destroyed and um I was just like you know I, I just my heart was still very much broken and I was being constantly like pulled on in regards to my energy like incarnate back on Gaia like incarnate back on Gaia because every time like it was weird it was almost like parts of the earth were being destroyed like the whole you know energy of earth it wasn't being destroyed it wasn't being taken away like it was it wasn't like that it was almost like um grids certain grid points of the earth were being flung back into 3d where we would have been able to like incarnate it would have been easier to incarnate in 5d but they were almost being flung back into 3d um i guess because of like conflict and you know collective energies and things like that and um yeah so I was aware of that and I was aware like earth was still going, souls were still incarnated, but I was like, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going. And then I kept being approached. And when I say approach, my energy was being pulled on to come back to earth, to come back to earth. And I remember like making this conscious thing. I, I don't remember saying it, but I remember being like, I'll incarnate on earth again, but I want my time with the earth. Like, I don't want to be around other people. I don't want to be, um, you know, on this grand mission. I don't want to be doing this and that. I don't want to be finding anything. I just want to be at one with Gaia if I incarnate. And that's what I started doing in the time of like Avalon. Um, because when I asked for it, like, what time period is this? And they were like, Avalon. I was like, okay. So I was incarnating a lot and I incarnated a lot as like a male, um, like really, really early on. Um, or there was just like no gender there at all. I was just incarnating and being part of the earth and I was very much like a, a loner, like a hermit. I wasn't really connecting to the souls. And then as I was falling more in love with just like connecting with Gaia and, you know, being with the earth and, you know, I, there was a lot of like herb, herbalism, plant medicine, those type of things. As that was happening, um, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of like how, like what I was being shown at different times. I started incarnating then in pods, in groups with like my soul tribe and stuff, but I was very primal. I lived very primal. Um, you know, it was just tribes and there was a lot of body art again. There was a lot of connecting to spirit again. We were very open to that, but I either had very short lives where I died quite young or it was just like, just fully tribal it, it, it was just my tribe that I knew when I my connection to earth and there was just a lot of lives like that and what I was actually being shown is you know I was telling you guys about grids on earth um and how like Lemuria was I guess part of a grid and Atlantis was part of a grid and then they were being flung back into 3d I was also being shown the grids like shifting not necessarily like tectonic plates or anything like that but it was almost like an energy shift um maybe when the pole shifted I don't know and like I, I remember seeing like um Egypt and all of the souls that were incarnated in Egypt Egypt and you know the human beings that were you know being birthed in Egypt and then I saw them all like there was just this energetic call like I said when birds flock and like they all moved like down to like Africa and then I saw like people from like I guess East Asia moving to like West Asia and then there was like there was like a shift of all souls kind of like moving around and yeah I saw like a lot of that I don't know it was just like a, there was just a lot of like 
we were being called elsewhere we were being called to move elsewhere and things like that and um yeah i was being shown that i was shown a lot of like lifetimes in egypt um like certain lifetimes in egypt i remember having like a it didn't look like what i've been shown i remember having like a thing covering my head and my crown in a lot of my lifetimes i've been very careful with my head and my crown um but like it's funny because when you read about egypt we know they were connected to spirit but like i don't think we've ever even scratched the surface of how connected to spirit they were like they were really connecting with ans like like their ancestors and then like ascended masters and then like you know like i remember like looking at that incarnation and how connected to spirit they were i don't think that's ever really been touched um on like deeply enough because it was just like moves being made we were always in connection with spirit it was that type of thing um so i was being shown myself incarnate in there and i was being shown myself incarnated like literally everywhere i was incarnate and here there everywhere like i was just you know i i kind of got that like bug back where i just loved the earth and i was just incarnated in wherever i could and a lot of the time it was more so as like a sage or someone that was like connecting to wisdom and then bringing it back down and you know to like a tribe and things like that and um i remember I don't know it wasn't the salem witch trials because i asked spirit was this the salem witch trials and spirit said no but it was some sort of like witch trials where i don't know whether they saw me doing a spell i don't know whether they saw me connecting with spirit or maybe i prophesied something but whatever the case it was almost like a hunt for me not just me like other people but there was like a like i, I remember seeing like a red thing on my name like um and that was spirit's way of saying like i was being like people were looking for me type of thing and it was because of my gifts you know my 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 psychic gifts and i remember being i remember my life being taken away i'm not going to get too gruesome because youtube will uh take the video down but my life was taken away you know in that lifetime and when i kind of like ascended from that lifetime and i had my life taken away and i knew why it was because you know psychic energy that's like powerful and especially in those days they didn't want you being connected to your power and they also saw it as like devil worship and i remember like my life being taken from me in that lifetime and i remember like having this not anger it wasn't anger it was just this like you can take my life from me a hundred times over you can throw the earth to like 2d one day i am gonna keep incarnate in here because i want everyone to be in unison i want everyone to feel their heart i want everyone to be in their power and be connected to their power and have their own rights in their hands and not have it taken away from them and there was just this energy of like we are all one and i'm going to keep incarnate and to teach that and spread that word and you can try and take me out you know what i mean the same way that you took me out but like you took me out of lyra and i'm here on earth spreading the same message and i'm going to keep doing it whether it's pleiades mentaka whether you know whatever the case i am going to keep doing it because that is why i'm here i want everyone to like you know feel love be connected to that hearty energy and i want to have people connected to themselves and i was so strongly like i would just keep coming down <laughs> i would just keep doing this like we all deserve healing we all deserve love i'm just gonna keep doing it and then i was just shown like so many i, I wasn't shown all of my past lives but i was just shown different lifetimes where um you know i was really like connecting with spirit and helping people connect to their power and just connecting to my own power just so i could in that lifetime and and pass that on to my children it wasn't like let me lead a group of people although sometimes there was lifetimes like that but it was more so i'm gonna incarnate incarnate in this family line i'm gonna connect to my power and my children are gonna know that power and their children are gonna know that power and it was it was that type of thing and i just had that it, and it was all coming from love you know what i mean and um that was why i was choosing to incarnate on earth and i guess that theme kind of runs into this incarnation today while you were watching me on youtube like i just had such a strong after that regression and i came out of it i just had had such a strong um love for just like earth again and human beings and myself and my soul and it was just so i wish i could make you feel everything that i was feeling because i was really i always get guided through meditations by like the feeling of it and that just that regression was just absolutely beautiful and the way i felt i was so connected to my soul mission in that moment and my heart and and yeah it was just really really beautiful and i learned so much um so much and it gave me a lot more of a like understanding about star seeds as well um and yeah that was my 
starseed regression so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this is you know i hope maybe you could get comparisons from like your own starseed regressions or what you're called to hopefully i filled in the blank somewhere you know added a piece of the puzzle somewhere um and like always my comments are a safe space for you guys to put your stories down so if you have ever had a starseed regression or you've been called to something if you've had a download comment it down below even if it's a little bit different than mine that's completely fine like it could be that I'm taking things in a different way and you've taken things in a different way, but we're looking at it from the same coin. Um, but write it down, write it down, because I love reading things like this. And there's not a lot of information out there about, you know, certain beings and stuff like that. And I hope I was able to add to that. Like, I guess that's part of my mission to kind of add to that and share that. I know it can sometimes sound crazy, but if I've got to be crazy, I'll be crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um... I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. Hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll have some bigger cards um, up for you guys next week. And yeah, I hope you have a beautiful day.